now the bolus of the food when you swallow what happens is it passes on either side food channels or of course it might also pass over the epiglottis okay because the epiglottis is not going to fall back the whole larynx is going to get elevated and it will get approximated so that the inlet is closed so that we will uh, discuss uh, in the later part of this lecture now let us coming back to the pyriform fossa so it is actually a deep fossa which is situated on the lateral wall of the laryngopharynx okay now what are the boundaries of this uh, pyriform fossa or the pyriform recess it is also called as so laterally it is actually formed by the lamina of the thyroid cartilage and the thyrohyoid membrane okay medially you are able to see that is the airy epiglottic fold that is the fold extending from the arytenoid cartilage to the epiglottis this fold is actually called as the airy epiglottic fold so laterally the lamina of the thyroid and the thyrohyoid membrane so they are all covered by anyway the mucus membrane now above if you look there is one more fold which is separating the uh, pyriform uh, recess that is the lateral glosso epiglottic folds okay and uh, in the anterior part of the epiglottis you will see one more fold the median glosso epiglottic fold so that part is actually uh, the valicular part you can consider it as the valicular part of the epiglottis or the valicular part of the tongue okay so the lateral glosso epiglottic fold separates this laryngopharynx from the valicular part of the tongue okay now what are the structures piercing this pyriform fossa so it is mainly pierced by the internal laryngeal nerve so the internal laryngeal nerve pierces the thyrohyoid membrane then the mucous membrane and then it is uh, seen in the uh, pyriform recess along with the superior laryngeal vessels so they pierce the lateral wall and then they pierce the medial wall mainly they are entering into the cavity of the uh, larynx to supply the mucous membrane of the cavity of the larynx so on their way actually they are passing through this pyriform fossa which is a part of the uh, laryngopharynx so the lateral view or the external view you are able to see that is your lamina of the thyroid cartilage and uh, this will be your hyoid membrane and extending is the thyrohyoid membrane okay between the hyoid bone and the thyroid cartilage so that thyrohyoid membrane is actually pierced by the internal laryngeal nerve once it is pierced now it is inside the pyriform recess which we have seen okay now this pyriform recess is uh, one place commonly the foreign body so if children anything they swallow or adults most commonly when we eat fish uh, naturally the fish bones might get impacted there so it is trapped in this fossa so if we try any home remedies naturally most of the cases what happens is it might uh, enter into your esophagus then there will not be any problem okay so if at all if it is getting trapped very much in that then you have to go for the surgical removal so while removing the fish bone you should be very careful not to damage this internal uh, laryngeal nerve okay 